number. All right, we are back to the stair rail build. And I just got back from the lumber store. Got what I need. I forgot to get the linseed oil for the cedar. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'll take this down. I'm going to put up this piece here that goes all the way up. I'm not going to worry about that side today. This is my... Uh, this is going to be the first one that I do, and we'll see how it comes out. Uh, but I do got enough lumber to do both sides, so probably, hopefully by tomorrow, I can start on the other side. And what, I'm, what I need to do first is get this board mounted on the stairs, and then I need to cut me two, maybe three cedar posts that the rail will attach to. And from there, I'm gonna run my rebarb. I gotta paint them. And of course, it's windy today. Wouldn't you, go figure. Every time I go out to do something, it's windy. It was calm yesterday. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's get going on the build. I'll uh, give you updates. I got kids running around on four wheelers out there, driving me nuts. And it's windy, so there probably won't be a lot of talking outside. So I'll do the talking inside. Let's get to work. And I'm getting a late start. If I get three or four hours in, I should get pretty far. All right, let's get going. This board attached I stained it I guess that looks close enough to the cedar it's all right it's the only stain I had and I forgot to buy uh, uh, linseed oil for the cedar and I've got all these set at the right spot on each step now what I'm gonna do I cut some of these cedar posts out of that old strap one of them was rotten so I had to go redo it I need to do, I, I think they're probably going to start about here on the bottom and, and it'll screw to that and the stair and then I need to determine my angle of the railing I can't get that to stand there on its own I need to determine the angle of the railing and cut it at, at that angle and it should be the same angle as that and I got that other post there which I will put right there and it should be about flush with that wall and then I'll come across and cover that up with something lighter and I just probably ain't gonna get much further today uh, like I said I didn't get a I didn't get a very early start so uh, then what you know the next steps are is to we're gonna drill down in here where these will be where the rebar will be straight up and down and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them on that and then I'll, I'll get the top rail and drill those mark them off get, get everything it's gonna 
it's gonna be tough figuring that out but i'll get it done and i'm also going to put in the risers i think i'm just going to cut plywood and fill those in i don't think i have enough i just got one four by eight sheet i don't it, it'd be close but i do i think have a couple extra pieces so maybe we'll get that done not today i'm, I'm gonna guess this is gonna take me three days to get this done so i'm gonna show you all step by step so there may not be much on today's but we got that part done uh, we'll just see how far i get all right
are called bobble bugs. Yep, because these are the posts that came from Jeff's house. Look at them hiding under there. Yeah, I can't get it to focus right, but no bobble bugs. Come on out of there, bobble bugs. Don't want you here. Ladies and gentlemen, bobble bugs. All right, I cut a riser board. Hopefully she fits the first time. Yeah, I was concerned that maybe in the middle from toes hitting it, but I don't think that's going anywhere. I want to get this one done and where the post is going up there. Uh, yeah, the stairs are going to look a lot better. It doesn't make any difference from climbing. So, I discovered a mistake I made. <laughs> Not a big one, a half an inch. Somehow, I got the risers when I made them. Let me put the camera up a little bit. Somehow, when I made the risers, I had them upside down. So, what I measured to be the riser is now the tread. The treads I made, I wanted eight inches. Well, they ended up being seven and a half. But I've got almost an inch overhang, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, if I wanted a wider tread, that would have been a big screw up. So, it happens. It, I mean, we're talking a half an inch. Didn't make any difference. They're still good to climb. So, we'll go with that. cedar post on and the railing on everything's even it's really strong uh, I've got some patching to do I, I knew that was gonna happen anyway uh, there is gonna be a panel let me see if I can get over here there's gonna be a panel that comes down from the edge of this to there because with these this rebar I got it's just not big enough to go directly in the rail and it, it it would look better to have something, you know, more like uh, the slatted things there. And I'm probably going to make them a little bigger. Uh, or I could make them about that size there. Uh, but just a small, you'll, you'll see what I'm going to do. I may just uh, make slat. I don't know if I'm going to do rebar all the way up. I'm going to make a slat piece here and one there. 
and then go up in the middle. That way it'll kind of match that better. Uh, I should get a whole lot more done today. Basically all I got done today is I got I got that board set and cut and stained. I don't think, I don't know if stain goes, it doesn't really go with anything else, but it doesn't not go with anything. I mean, it's just wood. And I really like having them uh, risers on there. I'll paint those the same color. I mean, we can get the rest of them, but there should be plenty of plywood for that. It's like six and a half wide by 38 long. So I should have enough and I had a big piece of scrap. So I got those two cut out of that and there's enough for another about two more. So there's plenty there and I will get these. I'll show you what I did here. I ran out of these two by uh, tens. And so I just put two two by fours together there and there. So I'll get, I got enough wood now to replace these, get them done. Then we can get to working on, on this wall get this all finished up this thing is really strong and there's a bow in this railing i put it to the bottom it's less noticeable i think if i hold it at that angle you'll see i can probably get a sander and, and sand it to where that's not even noticeable but hey man it's just me here and if the railing works let me come on down if the railing works it works so We'll get in here tomorrow and finish this dude up at least this side anyway and get the risers put on get the permanent stairs on up up top the ones i showed you with the two by fours and hopefully and then the next day uh I, I should be able to do the whole side in one day because well no i haven't cut the uh oh no i just cut the board i needed for my railing for those posts, but I think there may be one more over there. I don't know, but I could probably come up with a cedar post somewhere. I might even have some laying around back there. All right, guys. Sorry there wasn't a whole lot accomplished today, but it's slow going sometimes. But I do got the railing up, and uh, we'll get this side done tomorrow and see what it looks. See what she looks like. <laughs>